Hey guys, welcome back. This is Amy, and you are watching Android Power. Today, I have installed Android Q Pixel 3 Beta 4 GSI. I have installed this GSI on my A only partition device, which is my Redmi Note 5 Pro. This will work on any kind of A only or AB and system root only devices, but the stability depends on completely on your vendor. So, for this, go through the XDA developers' website. There are plenty of new features with this Pixel 3 Q Beta 4 GSI. I will tell you what are the things working and what new features are added with this. But before moving ahead, if you are first time here, I request to all of you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to see more future videos from Android Power. If already done that, then please like and share this video. It's free and it motivates me to make these kind of content. So let's first go to system settings, about phone, the Pixel 3 Q Beta 4 GSI based on Android Q 10.0 and security patch level is from June 5 but there is no new easter egg as of now. It's the same easter egg from Android Pie. As you can see this mainline software update, Pixel 3 has this feature which means with Android Q, security patches can be downloaded directly from the Play Store which is a nice addition. If we go to system settings, then gestures and here you can find something interesting. If we go to system navigation, you have find 3 options over here. You can use Pi swipe up on home button and old navigation bar. In Android Q, they have added this iPhone X gesture with a bar on the bottom. Now you can use full screen gesture. Really guys, it's really smooth and there is no lag while using this. You can just swipe from the left or right to any corner of the screen to go back. But I face one issue with gestures is that whenever there are 3 to 4 apps are open in the recent app, swiping through gestures are a bit laggy and after 2 or 3 swipes. Anyways, this is the default home screen with Pixel Launcher. If you long press on empty space of the home screen, you can change home settings add widgets and change wallpapers but in this build they have removed app actions from the launcher which means now you can't see app suggestions if you swipe up but you can get suggestions if you are opening recent app so the status bar has been adjusted over here like it shows how much battery you have remained but for me it's not showing also now all the kick toggles having wire framework like if you touch any toggle it goes completely transparent and then if you own it it will fill all the framework one more thing you can see is the edit icon is now on the left now you can apply dark theme from the quick settings panel about the notification you can now manually control the notifications and disable or set based on your priority if you swipe to the left or right you can dismiss the notification just like previous android versions and also now snooze is back again if we talk about the ui and volume rockers now it's much more optimized and pop up immediately the performance is very good so ui has been improved a lot with android q android q also has wi-fi sharing option as you can see there is an option to scan qr code but in the first build there is a bug with Wi-Fi that you can't connect to a secure Wi-Fi but now with Pixel 3 Q Beta 4 GSI Wi-Fi bug has no issues and you can connect to secured Wi-Fi. Also if you go to lock screen, the time font has now changed than the previous build. Also you can see the lock icon on the top which was on the middle of the screen in previous builds. If we talk about the camera, there is no stock camera app. So you need to install Google camera for your device and it's working without any issues. You can also use your favorite camera app from the Google Play Store. If we head towards to the settings, now you have search on the left and on the right you have your Google account information. It doesn't load my DP which is a bit weird thing. Anyways, first we have triple settings like those features and have wave stuff. If you go to apps and notification, then notifications. Here you can find notification assistant. Now it's much more better and animated. And if we go to display tab, there are new new options. Dark theme is working fine and have no issues. Also you don't have to go to the bottom for dark theme. 
the option is right over here and if you go to sounds tab you will see the option called now playing what it actually does for you when a song is playing nearby you your device will tell you the song name and artist on the lock screen it works offline so it's a great add-on and if we go to location now you can set location for the apps you are using which is extremely helpful for example i want to use location only whenever i will be using instagram share it or snapchat so it's a nice add-on if we go to security and in this menu fingerprint works fine it's fast and accurate face lock is working very fast and if you go to accessibility menu there is new option called time to read with this you can choose how much time you will take to read a message and after a specific time the message will go itself this is also a great feature we also have a new feature in digital well-being if you limit the app usage through the app timer for example if you set timer for gcam or any other app and if you open the app in the recents you can see five minutes left today so very nice addition by google and if you go to developer options here in this menu of android q few things are added for example if you scroll down to bottom you have this new option called theming finally you can use theming in android q which is most requested feature now as you can see you can change the accent color with light or dark theme so this is a nice addition you can also change the fonts in android q as of now not too much options available here but you can change the font you can also change the icons in this menu so let me change the icon and as you can see it's looking nice so that's all for the android q video here hit the like button if you find this video helpful thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time